So Acropolis now came along, which was huge because yeah. social media didn't exist then. No. The internet Word of obviously mouth did. Was social media back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But television then was huge. Yeah, like it's it was. what every family would do was sit down and watch a show together. And, and Acropolis there now, was an era of great Australian yes. comedy on television. There was um, Fast Forward, there was Comedy Company, Company, Company yeah. there was Us doing Acropolis Now, there was The Degeneration. There yeah. It was, you know, booming totally. in that same period. There was a lot of great comedy happening out of Melbourne. So how did you, because you went into it unknown and then created yeah. this character Effie, which was a huge character and yeah. is still known by yeah. all Australians. What was that time like? Well, we were doing Wogs Out of Work. We started off on stage and the show was famous, but we weren't. Right. You know, um, the show ran for three years and it was, you know, um, playing in every city. We had a second company that was doing the regionals and, you know, it was massive. It was massive. And the, the show was this phenomenal, groundbreaking show. It, mm. well, didn't, did it start off trying to be that? No, it just had content that a lot of people were attracted to that they were starved of seeing their own lives reflected back at them because right. there was nothing on television that did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it started off with the stage show. And um, and then when the television show hit, it was, you know, primarily the, the you know, three, four people from the stage show that put the television show together. Right. And so I had not a lot of interest in doing television right. because the first film I did um, was, I was nominated for an award and I went, great theatre and film, that's what I'm going to do. Because right. I wasn't a big fan of television. I didn't grow up, and to this day my mother says, oh, Mary, you know, she couldn't stand, she couldn't sit still enough to watch television. Yeah, right. Um, I was sort of always out, you know, um, hanging in the streets and, you know, and seeing theatre in real life. Right. So I wasn't really that um, TV addicted, not like my brother who, you know, used to think that the grandmother from Beverly Hillbillies was an actual relative of his. That's how close <laughs> he felt to her. But um, so doing television was not something I was interested in because I hadn't seen enough that really got me excited. Right. Um, but then the boy said, you know, you can write episodes. Come on, do the show and then you can write, you know, some episodes because I've always written what right. I performed primarily, sort of 80% of my work I've written. So um, that was a little bit more enticing. And then when Effie hit, it just, I just, Ex at one point yeah. went, okay, I just got married. Yeah, right. <laughs> There was just a wedding ceremony that happened, you know, <laughs> till you know, till death do us part. That's what totally. it felt like. Yeah, really. Yeah, but you know, I took that as a really good thing. Do you um, do you enjoy playing Effie as much as you did then? Now more. Do more. you? Yeah. I suppose it was just sort of you know a discovery for me. You know, the 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 series was theatre and television all in one, and sitcom is incredibly difficult because mm. you have got a live audience and four cameras. You've only known the material for three or four days, so you don't really know it that well. Yeah. And you're sort of pretty much rewriting until the 11th hour. Right. And um, it's really, really hard. And we, I enjoyed it, but um, knowing that I can take the character anywhere I want now, and I've performed her in the most incredible environments. Like I shot a series that never went to air, um, but I shot it in New York and LA and with all full of American stars. That was like at the beginning of the 90s. And that was really exciting to take the character and throw yeah. her into an environment where nobody knew her, where she had to earn her place in every scene. And that was really exciting. And the whole series was improvised. It was very much a Borat type of series, a pride of Borat. So um, Australian television executives didn't know really. It was a mockumentary. And yeah. It hadn't been done before that mockumentaries. Point very much. So yes. they were like, uh, well, what is this show? And yeah. where's the laugh track? And and, uh, you know, anyway, or I've performed it at uh, the Midwinter Ball, which is, you know, I've done Effie at the Midwinter Ball, which is considered the best job corporate wise that you can do because it yeah. is all the politicians in Canberra. It is their big event of the year. Yeah, right. And it's run by, um, you know, all the journalists and the press gallery. And everyone puts down the guns, sits in this room, big room together, all the media and all the, uh, the pollies. And I've hosted that on a number of occasions as yeah, Effie. Yeah, right. And I suppose the thing that I've loved the most is that she's, um, she's I suppose, like a, a mushroom. She's the great all-rounder. You can just sort of put her in anything. Yeah. And it sort of works. And she does get to the meaty bits, you know. she um, I'm able to, to use her as a, a mask to really say whatever I want. Yeah, right. And I yeah, don't you totally know, can. I don't know how it works, and I don't really want to know how it works, but... 
I get away with it. Totally. And so it's acting without a, a net, you know, because a lot of the time I don't know what I'm going to say. And a lot of the time the, perform the, the, the places that I perform are not performer friendly. Right, you know, right, right. they're at, um, like if I do a corporate job, I might do, you know, 200 venture capitalists, you know, in a restaurant, yeah, in a big tough. restaurant. And you go, oh, God, this isn't the theatre and where's my stage manager and I don't, you know. Yeah. And it's, you you know, you really, it's really difficult to do. And the more I do it, the more I love the, the level of difficulty. Yeah, because you have only recently started, which surprised me and would a lot of other people, stand up. Yeah. Because I just assumed, of course, you would do stand up. But it's only been about a year, a year and a half that you've been yeah. touring Effie as stand up. Yeah, as a stand up show. And, the, and the, the difference I would say is that theatre, I would normally have a set, do a monologue, have other actors perhaps, you know, in the scenes. This is Effie, a microphone, and, and an audience. Yeah. And I was sort of a bit poo pooey of it to begin with. I was like, oh, you know, where's the fourth wall? And oh, God, I can't do this. And yeah. then the minute I started doing it, I went, ah. Yes. Now I get it. And it is a drug and it's very gratifying and um, it's sort of, you know, like performing and streaking all at the same time. Yeah. You know, right. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm completely nude. You that know, like I've got, I don't have the same things that I used to have for all those years, sort of being able to hide behind yeah. certain, um, certain theatrical devices. I mean, yeah, okay, I'm still in character. That's the one thing I've maintained. But yeah. apart from that, it's... Um, it's pretty direct, yeah, it's express um, relationship with the audience. 